Welcome to Better Than Four, as we hit the heights with one of the most spectacular high altitude mountain bike challenges on the planet. Below are the foothills of the Himalayas, the location of the Pokhara Race, a four-stage bike event contested over four consecutive days in Nepal. We're at the start line as local crowds amass to see the fourth and final stage commence. After a week of challenging climbs and daredevil descents, it will all come down to the results today. The competition has been fierce so far, with home favorite riders from Nepal challenging international pros for the top places. Our riders, 28 in total, have been welcomed to Nepal with great warmth throughout the contest and today is no exception. Before the crew embark on a final attempt at glory and personal pride, they are given a very special send-off. On the start line, each cyclist is given a flower to represent prayer, protection and good luck. With the most brutal climbs of the competition saved for the last stage, they'll certainly need all the luck they can get to navigate the perilous trails successfully. And we're off. In the men's race, the number one spot is being contested by Corey Wallace of Canada and Narayan Gopal Maharajan of Nepal. And here they are racing tire to tire. The stage today, taking place in front of the jaw-dropping Himalayan mountain range, is 47 kilometers in distance. But it will feel more like 470. The unforgiving climbs ahead are not for the faint-hearted. Today's stage is made up of two loops. The end of the first gives a crucial chance to refuel. With temperatures starting to climb and muscles starting to scream, staying dehydrated at every opportunity is a must. And now our riders are reaching the infamous climbs. Across the course, they will ascend a total of 1,800 meters. But it's not just the height to conquer, many of the hill trails are barely passable on a bike. Defeating the rockiest of rock trails is an endurance feat within itself.
some of the hill climbs in the forest are an ordeal just for locals to walk up. Now try achieving it on a heavy mountain bike after four days of relentless riding. Rather you than me. Here's a snapshot of overall leader Corey Wallace taking time out before the final race today. He's the 24-hour World Mountain Bike Race Champion, and it's been easy to see why this past week. He won both stages two and three, each time showcasing phenomenal endurance and resilience when the going gets tough. Can he retain his lead today? Wallace has an overall lead of nearly 10 minutes coming into this final showdown. It means his key focus is staying on the saddle and not crashing out. As you'll see from this onboard camera footage, the challenge of avoiding a nasty wipeout is not easy. From navigating narrow tracks to dodging wild goats and dogs, there's an obstacle to overcome around every corner. He just needs to hold on to score victory. We're taking a break as we dip into the streets of Pokhara City for a well-earned breather. We'll see you on the other side to see if Wallace can seal glory at the Stage 4 finish. Welcome back to Better Than 4. We're at the Stage 4 finish line to celebrate the overall winners of the Pokhara race. Canadian Corey Wallace held on to win the stage and clinched the overall men's title by nine minutes. Narayan Gopal Maharajan of Nepal sealed second place. Yeah, good. <coughs> the difficulties? Yeah, not so difficult. <laughs> Did you have the difficulties? Yeah, that was a hard race. Yeah, it was really rough in all descents and. Narian was pushing on all the climbs. So yeah, it was a good, good bike race today. Yeah, after four days you get, you get tired. <laughs> Just the progression of getting beat up every day. So it's nice to be over now and rest up. How was the race for you? Good, excellent. Uh, lots of climbing and it's very steep. It's very steep. <laughs> and it's very challenging. And this is for her IV first time and I think that's good for our future. Race? Yes. Uh, the difficult thing is uh, it's uh, challenging. Uh, the first thing is weather and the second thing is lots of climbing. It have like uh, I think mostly 90% of climbing and it's uh, 75 degree up 
and yeah, finally done. <laughs> <laughs> While Wallace took top honors in the men's series, Lakshmi Magar of Nepal reigned victorious in the women's event, winning with a remarkable 90 minute margin. First stage, uh, the first climbing, it was long and hot day, but beautiful with the panoramic view of the mountain. So it was just, you know, amazing, beautiful. <laughs> On this is the second climbing inside that um, jungle that is just, just near to top. That is the hardest climbing. <laughs> what is the most beautiful thing on this Pokhara 4? In this Pokhara 4, uh, it's an amazing, I mean, beautiful race. I enjoyed it a lot uh, because there was a panoramic view of uh, Annapurna. Mataputre, Manaslu, it was so beautiful. What can you recommend uh, for mountain bike riders from all over the world? Uh, I wanted to recommend this race to them, to uh, just themselves and uh, ride with the beautiful landscapes. Just try it. <laughs> all right, well done. That was fun. Good job. That was like one of the fastest uh, descents we've ever done on nice sandy Nepali flats. <laughs> it was fun. Good day out there. And uh, man, it was a, the longest day of climbing, that's for sure. But not as technical. So we were lucky. Very lucky. Richard, you. You beast! You beast! Come and give me a hug, mate. You were motivating me all day. <laughs> well done. Well done, man. Okay, we have a good, we have a good, a good ride. Oh, jeez, that was a toughie. Yeah, you were having fun on that descent, I imagine. I was, you but was not as much fun as you were having on those climbs, by the looks of things. I got up the last yeah. section I was walking. Oh, were you? Yeah, oh, yeah. I managed to. I managed to keep going, actually. There was one bit uh, where I was yeah. walking. Um, You're banged up. You yeah. are the, you're the you're the man of the match. You took everything on. <laughs> you're gonna get no messing man. around. No messing around. No bloody messing Grand master around. champion. Oh. Why? He just is. There's, there's no question about it. Top of the table. So the question is, have I got four minutes on Ivan? That is the question. I haven't seen Ivan all day. Oh, I have. He was behind me. But. Uh, uh, here's uh, Usha. She is she is a trooper. This girl. I'm I'm glad I did it. Just a first reaction. No. I'm glad I did it, but I'm glad it's over. I'm I'm uh, really pleased with myself, actually. I uh, I surprised myself. I surprised myself frequently during the day and during this whole thing. I just didn't think I was going to be able to make it up some of those climbs, but I managed to do it. So, uh, great personal um, milestone that was. Uh, I'm now going to go and get something to drink. Stage, it was a day for climbing. A serious day for climbing. Well done. And this girl rocks. Pocket rocket, absolute pocket rocket. There was some serious climbing today. We had to dig in really deep um, and the descents were, they were bone shaking. They were just bone shaking. Um, feet are numb, posterior is a little numb, but an amazing day, great stage four, great event, Pokhara rocks, credit to Nepal, super job, amazing. Well done, well done.
my body senseless <laughs> including my brain <laughs> It's been a very long and very winding road, but our heroic riders have finally completed their journey through the foothills of the stunning Himalayas. Here's a final flashback of the treacherous terrain they tamed. After a few celebratory drinks, a hot shower, and an almighty sleep, the dust begins to settle on an epic adventure. The next day provides a perfect opportunity to reflect on a race of a lifetime. Kirsten, very uh, special question. I need your full name and where you're from and where you're living. Okay, so Ivan Brown, um, I'm British, I'm living in Sri Lanka now for the past 19 years. Uh, mountain biking has been a passion from a young age. I started in cyclocross, um, then started doing some amateur racing back in the UK um, some 25 years ago. Um, it's just been a passion that I've, that I've continued. And uh, now you are living in Sri Lanka. Why did you come to Nepal or why are you trying outside of? Uh, your living country to take part on mountain bike races? Yeah. Nepal has always been on my bucket list. Um, I turned 50 years, um, a milestone in my youth, just um, six, seven days ago. Um, and Pakara fell, just beautiful timing. Um, how better to spend your 50th birthday in an amazing location, amazing scenery, with just like-minded, amazing people and mountain biking. How good does life get? Can you explain uh, me a little bit uh, what is uh, behind mountain biking? Why mountain biking especially? Mountain biking for me, um, it keeps me balanced. It keeps me balanced. Um, the element of the aspects of psychological balance, physical balance, 
Any form of aggression for me is taken out on the trails. Um, it's, it's, it's my survival. Before heading home to all corners of the world, our riders are after one last hit of adrenaline as they say goodbye to Nepal. And what better way to do so than a last minute paragliding adventure over the very familiar landscape. We'll see you next time on Better Than Four. Until then, keep pedaling.